Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report here in Hollywood at the Directors Guild for the IDA Awards. We're going to talk to a bunch of documentary filmmakers and I mean these movies are must see. I mean they're up for awards so come on, let's go check them out. Again, I'm with the Sundance Documentary Film so Program and we're getting the Pioneer Award tonight. Yeah. So what we do is actually fund documentaries and fund people that are working in the documentary field all around the world. So Which is awesome. Yes, it's awesome and we get to work with all of the documentary film Makers that are winning awards here tonight, for instance, we're part of the you know the group that funds them, that supports them, that gives them advice and makes connections for them. So we're getting an award for really doing that over the last 10 years. It's our 10-year anniversary, and we're thrilled about this. Well, happy anniversary! Let me ask you: It takes a specific type of person to want to pursue documentaries. What would you? What advice would you give someone who's just starting out in documentary? Follow your values, follow your vision, find your story, and um, really believe in yourself. And your film you will, will show that, and people will buy in to what it is that you're trying to do. It's a really wonderful profession. It's, it's kind of a calling. And documentary people really recognize each other around the world. They understand that they want to do something about the world that we live in and tell stories that help that. And you see a room full of people here tonight that are all engaged in doing that. It's a, it's a fabulous, fabulous world to work in. I absolutely think that. And I also think that I was told once, or I heard it once, that everyone has a story to tell. And sometimes with you know the lights, the cameras, and the movies, we lose that. We lose life in the make-believe. What do you think about that? I think that documentary storytelling and fiction storytelling are actually becoming equally powerful and people are kind of forgetting whether they're going to see a documentary or a fiction film. They just want an experience that engages them and entertains them in the world um, and really helps them understand themselves differently. And documentary is perfect for that right now. So I don't make that distinction. For me, it's cinema. Well, congratulations and happy anniversary again and good luck. Thanks for watching. For more interviews, make sure that you like and subscribe. I mean, really, like this one.